Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna show you how to do an Asterix or Avalon style Psytrance base in Serum and the post process of the whole thing. So this is the chain that we will have in the end. And this is a song I'm working on, so you can hear the bass in context. Yeah, so this dark, energyful sound that we want. So I'm gonna mute this and we're gonna start with this right here. This is the MIDI that we have. It's an F sharp rolling bass, as you can see, with this note one octave um, up. So we're gonna add a serum and we're just gonna start. We have the default wave table. We go one octave down and we take random to zero. We go to oscillator B, we go five times to the right side and we have basic mini, one octave down, um, random to zero and phase down to zero also. We go to the filter, we go to MG low 18, we turn on B or oscillator B also, we take the resonance down and we take the cutoff all the way down also and we're gonna boost it a bit with about 7% drive. And what we have now... Uh, yeah, this is what we want. Now we go to envelope number one and we want the full click effect of the bass, so we take attack to zero. DK will be 116 because we have this 116 rolling bass. Um, sustain will be about minus 1.5 or minus 1.3 right here and we're gonna take this curve up a bit. We go to envelope number two, we drag it to our cutoff and we make sure it goes all the way up. We take attack to zero, DK also 116 and I'm gonna take the release down a bit and now we're gonna play with the sustain to give the space the feeling that we want. Um, just to make it clear on what I focus if I want to make this kind of basses. I'm not focusing on the click or how the click and the bass combine or whatever. I'm just looking at the low end and like the release after the click, just before the next click hits, if this makes any sense. This where just the bass is um, boosting through the sound. Um, this is, there it is like the, the key factor of to get this kind of bass if this makes any sense so i'm gonna just show it what i mean we want a really dark feeling so we have like too much high frequencies coming through so we just take this down a bit like this duplicate this and loop this so we can work properly I feel like you can hear up uh, about 70% there's like this funky feeling and if you take it down to 65 and below it's, there's like a breaking point where you can feel or hear it goes over to the to the dark side <laughs> or something like this. Just have a listen. Yeah, and I feel like about 61% you have this really dark energetic feeling that we want. So I'm gonna stay like this. And um, what I also do on the release curve, I take it up like this. And I think this was everything for here. What I also do because right here, you see I have different velocities on our notes. So I'm gonna want to control this of course. So level down of both oscillators and throw on the velocity. Um, what I also do 
I take the level of this one down to about 40%, the one of oscillator B. Um, I just played around with this already sometimes and I feel like for this kind of bass, this is the yeah wipe that we want between those two. So we continue with the effects. We have a down sampler, if I remember right on this one. Yes, a down sampler. So we go to the distortion, we take down sample. And because down sample is such an aggressive um, effect, we take the drive down to about 13 or 14 percent. And we also take the mix down. So now this glassy effect that we have. It's just coming through a bit, just a bit. It just saturates the bass a bit and it gives a bit more, a bit, bit, bit more transient um, on the click. And yeah, so this was it for the distortion. We go to the compressor. I go with my usual patch that I do because this is mostly my usual patch at all that I do. So I know my numbers. I go to about minus 12 here, three to one about 50, about 130 or 20, and gain about 2.2. And this was everything that we have to do in Serum, because now if we take a listen, this already sounds pretty badass without any effects. Yeah, so let's process this. I usually um, put in a Psy scope because I want to see what I'm doing. If you don't know Psy scope, it's like an audio visualizer, or I don't know what to say. Just have a look. So you have a real time um, image of your sound, and yeah, it helps a lot. So first effect that I'm gonna add is an equalizer. Usually, I would recommend you to go with. A linear phase, so we have no phase um, changes while working here, but I have such a mess right here and so many hundreds of plugins and effects. I think my computer will crash if I do this. So zero latency, we give it the low cut and 30 dB like this. And now you will have a nice effect. If you take away base of your base, you will actually boost the base. So just have a look at what I mean. And then of course it's a breaking point where I'll just take away all the bass. But right here, I think this sounds pretty nice. I uh, also boost the bass a bit. And sometimes when I boost the bass, I also counter it a bit. So I'm just gonna try to do that. Yeah, like this. Now, what you can, this knob right here, this is um, the distortion or the downsampling effect. I take it away a bit because the way it's coming through, I don't really like it 100%. Now it's already not annoying or not that annoying anymore. So I'm pleased with it. And this is pretty much it for the equalizer first. So next thing will be the Waves plugin Trans X Multi. It's um, a transient shaper. I'm just going to load my preset. It's just everything on zero right here. And now we're gonna play around with these sticks to um, get phase changes in our bass. This will give other sounds, other wipes and whatever. And you will get pretty nice results pretty quick you just have to go with the feeling of the bass that you want. Don't look at it or whatever, just imagine the feeling that you want and then go with your gut when you're playing your bass with the kick in context to a song. So we're gonna do it now.
I like the sound that we got right here. So you can already hear that it's a clear difference. Yeah, and now we're gonna boost with the the range right here. We can boost our sound. Uh, yeah, just have a crack. This one and this one, they will um, yeah impact the bass, and this and this one will impact the click. Yeah, I think this sounds pretty nice. And yeah, this was almost everything with this plugin. There are other ways to do it also and to get other feelings and other kind of Asterix and Avalon style basses. And um, I will do other videos about this, but this basic bass is the Transix Multi with an equalizer. And now we're gonna sidechain this um, with the LFO tool. I always add two LFO tools. The first one will define how it's rolling, but we will do this um, in the end. This one is, uh, no, I'm confused now. The last LFO tool that I have, this will be drawn like this. And this will just cancel everything out between the end of our baseline and the um, playing of the first note of our bass line. So the kick has, has full space to give full impact of this, uh, on the song. So everything is cancelled out and now we're gonna define how we want it. I'm gonna do it like this. I want the um, bass in the middle or the halftime bass or whatever. Um, this one to hit at full um, loudness so this must be on top and now we're gonna play around with this yeah and I think this was pretty much everything for the sidechain also um, let's put it in context one last time but with no loop. Oh, I'm gonna just add a utility also and turn down the sound a bit because it's way too loud right now. Yeah, I think we have a pretty nice bass right here. I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something. If you did, subscribe. If you have questions or wishes for other videos, leave a comment and we see us in the next video.